Hello and welcome. We are already in week two of December, if you can believe it. So this exciting episode is a sewing vlog of what I've been up to in the past week or so and what I'm working on at the moment. Perfect, 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 perfect. Perfect jacket. So I got out the green and cream Italian tweed. Here's the jacket. This is footage from the video. You saw it um, just over a week ago and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous tweed. I started making it in March this year and I don't know. I just, once I cut into the tweed and cut it up into pieces, I felt like the cream was much more prominent than it had been just as a big piece of tweed. Anyway, so I finally finished the jacket, but I think in the video I do note that it was a little more cream than I thought. Like I bought it because I love green. And yeah, so I started beating it, but it didn't, it wasn't looking good. So then I went and finished the dragonfly jacket, which just needed some work on the shoulders and I had to cut, do the hem and the cuffs. Once I finished the dragonfly jacket, the one in the background, I did a little bit more on the green Italian tweed. And then I had to end the video because I had to start doing vlogmas. And then, yeah, I got the green and cream jacket the Italian tweed out to finish the beading but I I really don't like it so I pulled all the beads off oh my gosh it takes such a long time if you do beading properly um, like the correct way it takes so long to cut all the beads off or pull and um, basically you just do the beading but you do it in reverse so you've got to take each bead out individually anyway clean jacket it's new slate gonna start again and as I said I love the green I love the reds I love the color beads that I picked what I don't like about this is that oatmeal cream color so we are going to keep the same beads hopefully oh I ended up adding a few um, black beads and a few green beads into the mix but um oh this is me showing you so I work it to when you're beading it's important to have a rhythm so that all your beads are the same distance apart and that sort of and they're the same tension on each bead so I tend to thread um, like 20 or 30 needles all at once and I line them up and I just do my beading and you just tie off one start a new one and I've pinned the two inside front lining pieces just out of the way so I can just do the whole jacket and yeah so I'm going to beat it the first time I beat it I beat it vertically along the neon red lines because they were that's kind of what I usually do with jackets but with this one it's the horizontal oatmeal sort of cream colour lines that I don't like. So anyway, I was thinking and thinking and at, while I was doing that, I also shot the three videos. This is a still from September. This is a still from the October video and I still have the orange jacket out because it needs um, some more structural layers and a tiny bit more beading to stitch the two jackets together before I can then do the lining I think I'm going to do black lining black silk lining instead of orange I'm not sure anyway and then I shot the November one you haven't seen that video yet but I already shot it and edited it so then I put away all the finished jack beaded jackets I finished put away all the dresses and these are the jackets that are finished to the point where they're now ready to bead so um oh, that's the one that's got the cotton instead of net structural layer you have to pre-wash your cotton when you use it and um yeah so I only have like two jackets with cotton the rest are um got the net base anyway these ones are all ready to be beaded so I had to find another storage box for them and then I put them all away and I got out all this is all the other UFOs that I was trying to get finished by the end of this year. I did a pretty good job of doing everything else but I think it's a, it's a bit of an impossible task to get all these ones done. Oh, and this is me just showing you some of the gorgeous tweeds. Um, the bit that's going the wrong way is the lining. If you've seen the early seasons of Sex in the City, Charlotte wears a Chanel jacket like that. And it's kind of a vintage one. And I'm really, it's really cool that I bought it. This is a Linton tweed. Um, 
It's really beautiful. That you might have seen in my fringe video from a couple of months ago. I still haven't finished it. I have, I've gradually been working through all the unfinished ones. This is a Chanel tweed. It's really beautiful. It's another Chanel tweed. There is a lot of Chanel on this rack. I, it's um, so hard to find a Chanel tweed. I guess I just don't want to. This is a summer weight one. Summer weight ones have um, cotton base, whereas winter weight ones have a, like the magenta tweed I showed you before, have a um, wool base. So, and then they sort of add in all the extra things. So yeah, these are the ones on the rack now that I, um, oh, and this is a, one of those, that Nordic tweed in silver, cream and gold. Anyway, so these are all ones that I have to finish that, um, it's rather daunting looking at them all. Anyway, so, um, oh, and then I had to get out the ones I have actually finished because this is the rack for the December makes now. And yeah, so um, there's a couple of dresses as well. I think I've got three 1939 Vogue, that vintage Vogue 1939 pattern that I love. I've got three dresses that um, are half finished. And I also have that blue top with the floral bit around the neck. And there's also, oh, another Chanel. <laughs> this is a multicolored one. I bought this in New York ages and ages ago. And I've done most of the beading, but I have to finish the neckline and then finish the beading around that. That is just a tweed in greys and beiges. I did make the video for that, but it just didn't photograph well. So yeah, I never actually made that episode. And the ugly sweater one, I've made a full episode of that. So I've got two more jackets, December jackets that are fully made that you haven't seen the episodes for yet and a whole bunch of unfinished stuff. And these are three unfinished sashes or ties. <laughs> I've machine, done the machine sewing, then you have to pull them through and then you have to hand stitch the end where you left open to pull them through. So, I mean, they're almost done, but I did them in the middle of the year or at the start of the year and I still haven't finished them. That's a finished one from a year ago. And um, yeah, just in case you didn't know what I mean. Anyway, when I got the out the pink and white Chanel with the multicolors in it, um, I'll see, this is what I mean. It needs, I need to do the neckline and then bring the beading right up to all around the neckline, around the front sides and the back. And um, yeah, when I was beading that one originally, I was also working on this one. So this is the middle of last year. And so I got this one out to do a because uh, I just want to do a tiny bit more beading on that one because I love it, but it just needs a tiny, tiny bit more beading. So um, yeah, I got this out and it reminded me when I did this jacket, I there was this really, really bright wool in the in the actual tweed and I didn't actually like it until I beaded some of the beads over the yellow that I didn't like. So what I'm going to do with this one is bead over the color bits that I don't like. If I just use the same beads and bead over the cream sections then it'll naturally bring out all the other colors and the cream will sort of you know, take a back seat. So I've done a little bit of a sample of the, what the finished thing is going to look like on the calf. But now obviously you can't just add all the beads at once. So I'm doing the first layer of beads, which <laughs> looks terrible. It's not going to look good until I've finished the second layer. But you to for the jacket to carry the weight safely, you have to add a sort of really sketchy first layer and then fill it in. So you can't add all the beads at once. You do half and then you do the other half or a third, then the, you know, do it in three layers. So that is what I'm doing. As, as I said, I've done the sample on the calf and now I'm just working my way around the whole of the torso of the jacket with the first layer. I'm using the plastic beads for the first layer and so the really transparent ones, and then I'll fill it in with the really intense, colorful ones and the little cartoon bits of fruit and things like that. I think I'll try and keep the fruit on the bottom half and then just have clear beads on the top half, I think. So I finished the whole of the back with the first layer 
And now I just have to do sort of the bib or at the front, you know, so the bit around the neck at the front. And then I have to do the two sleeves as well. Once I've done the whole of the first layer, I'll be able to start the second layer. And this is it from far away. I'm trying to show you the difference between the half beaded bit and the, yeah, I guess the front's better. You can see the red beads on the two th bottom two thirds of the jacket. And then the sleeves and the top bit of the front don't have beads on them yet. So I am dialing down the amount of oatmeal sort of cream color in there, which is what I wanted to do. And it just brings alive the different greens, I think. Well, in my opinion, it's, it's hard to explain. Once it's done, it will seem more. <laughs> you, you'll get what I mean, hopefully. So yeah, I have threaded another 20 or 30 needles up and I will finish the the first layer and then I'll get to doing all the fun and exciting beads so yeah I think the I don't like the cherry ones so much I'll put the probably put them at the back and yeah this I like the watermelon wedges and the strawberries and there's a couple of really beautiful ones, but I don't like the cartoon strawberries. I like the sliced strawberries. Anyway, I've put a cartoon strawberry sort of right in a really prominent spot. So I might cut that off and put a different bead there. But anyway, that's what it looks like at the moment. Now I just have to, I'm not sure it's the best use of my time. And I have a few finished jacket episodes and a few um fabric holes and a couple of uh, there's a con marie video so i have a, f a few videos in the bank ready to um go live oh, those are my threads and i still haven't done the metallic jackets i don't know if it was the best idea to do the gingerbread jacket the ugly sweater and the the green chanel um jackets first and then the metallics but yeah anyway what's done is done oh also i'm gonna make a dress because i feel like a lot of people want a special holiday print dress and you know only have a few hours to make it up so i bought this fabric i bought it because that green christmas decoration reminds me of this mary katransu dress from um, years and years ago She's the daughter of this mega rich guy and um, so she decided she wanted to be interior designer so um, she got to go to interior design school in New York but then she saw Alexander McQueen's last few collections and she decided she wanted to create um, textiles for fashion designers or do fashion design so then she got to go to London and work on um, be a fashion design student and um, when she graduated she um, she got this Lesage sort of um, scholarship instead of getting paid anything you got to use Lesage like they paid for the workshop to do your designs and so this is this skirt is based on an actual Fabergé egg and yeah, I just love it so much. And I'm going to make a simple dress out of this fabric, which isn't going to be anywhere near as glamorous, but maybe I'll make a jacket to match. Anyway, for now, I am going to crack on with the beading on this jacket. Still haven't finished the first layer, but definitely getting there. And I have re-threaded all my needles, so I am ready to go. I, I am going to do that um gold Egyptian tweed this month because next month is Desperately Seeking Susan month and I want to beat it then. So it will be done. I just really want to get this jacket right and finish this one first before I crack on with any of the December um, metallic jackets. I think because there's a couple of sequin ones that I want to make and when you make a sequin jacket you always break a needle. Well not always but you always have the fear of breaking a sewing machine needle so I think that's why I was putting it off. Anyway I have beading to do so I'll be back once I've done a little bit more or I don't know at this point this might be the vlog <laughs> so we, we'll see. 
Oh, oh, here are the little bits that I'm going to add. See, I like the wedges and I like the slices of strawberry. And I love the um, half apple ones. But the cherry and the... Uh, I kind of like the full watermelon. I like that it's got the greeny teal on the outside. But the cartoon strawberry and the cherries are not my favourite. You have to buy like a, a mixed bag. You... Um, I suppose you probably, if you look around, you could probably buy like each individual thing, but I'm just trying to, um, use up an existing collection. So it's kind of a bit found object. This is what you got to use and you can either use it <laughs> or not. Oh, I'm also thinking this, so this is the same style of tweed, but in a different colorway, the denim colorway. And the thing I like least about this is those whitish grey lines and um, I mean they do make it look like faded denim but once it's made up into a, a jacket I feel like they'll be even more prominent than they are. So I'm thinking maybe I'll do the same thing with this instead of having the neon lines vertical like the fluoro red ones are in this green jacket maybe I'll do them horizontal and cover them. But uh, I don't know. I also love the um, bow beads and I love the pearls. So I don't know. Anyway, I, I just love dreaming about all the different ways you could bead something. But I will, because the actual beading <laughs> takes forever. Like when I first started making jackets, I would take one month to make the jacket and then one month to bead it. That is how long the beading takes. But obviously you know I've been beating for decades so I'm faster now but it still takes time so and this is what the inside looks like it's nice and clean based on like there's going to be thousands of beads on this so relative to how much thread you use and how much sewing you you know stitching you actually do it's quite a clean look on the inside and then of course it's going to have a silk um, lining which will protect that layer but for now I have to get back to these boring plastic beads and finish this first layer of beading so I'll be back if only to say goodbye and end the vlog but hopefully I'll have had time to do a little bit more beading well, actually, I've done lots more beading, but I decided that I do, it was just too boring to comprehend to do the um, the clear plastic ones. So I went over the bit that I'd already done and I did the second layer of beading on that section. It also helped me figure out how heavy the whole jacket is going to be. So I've put it up on the sideboard on the mannequin up there and you can sort of see there's very stark difference between just the jacket in that top top third and the bottom two thirds which are pretty much done there's like a line that I haven't quite finished but I was at um, the point where I'd used up all my threaded needles and I was like this is a good point to stop so because I still had to um do this last bit of editing and narrating as well so you can I feel like you can very clearly see how it's going to be different and yeah I don't think it looks fabulous yet because of the contrast between the two but once all the beading is done the sleeves are going to be the tricky part so I'm not sure I'll have time to do them in December but at least I know that this is the type of beading that I like because the other beading I yeah I just really wasn't happy with it. It just didn't feel like it suited the jacket and I just wasn't, I was pretty sure I wouldn't wear it, whereas this I know I will. So I'm glad with that. And I do have enough beads, I feel like I've got enough beads to um, do the whole thing. I haven't been using very many of the teal ones, but it'll be nice to have the top third differentiated in some way than the bottom two thirds. And I do have more of these glass, cut glass um, red ones, but they're rondelles. So they're sort of like a donut rather than round. So yeah, I'm not sure that I'll use them, but if I do, I'll just use them on the top third. And uh, But I think if I can sort of scrounge around in the red beads, I'll probably find more round, smallish red ones medium small 
So yeah, and、uh, I had to divide up all my little fruit bits just to see how many I had left, and I think I've got enough. I yeah, there won't be as many on the sleeves as there are on the body of the jacket, but yeah, on the back I've I've used the cherries and the cartoonish strawberries and some of the apples. Because there were more of the apples, and then on the front, I've used the、um, wedge of watermelon, the round watermelon, like the half watermelon, the half apple, and the slice of strawberry. Because I think those ones are more aesthetically pleasing than the cherry and the cartoon strawberry. So there we are. It's not finished. It's <laughs> it's quite a long way still from being finished. But I do have a firm idea of what it's going to look like, and I'm quite happy with this look. It's not photographing well <laughs> still, but I think I've just got to live with that. I don't think every jacket can be, you know, real worthy or you know, photogenic. And I'm absolutely fine with that. So, yeah, time to do more work. <laughs>、um, I'll do a little bit more. I've got a little bit more time to do work on this, but I won't be able to finish it. As I said, I doubt I'll be able to finish it this month. I mean, there are a lot of half finished, well, mostly finished things on the rack there. So I'll probably just <laughs> attack the easiest ones first and go with that. I'll try and do a little bit every now and again, and we'll see. But yeah, that's it for this sewing vlog. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've been inspired to、um, bead something of your own or do a little bit more work on a big project. Cause yeah, you've just got to keep chipping away at it sometimes. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and happy sewing.